How is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be introducing you to negative parts, unions, and separation. This is just basic building. So this is if you want to build like pretty advanced looking blocks, this is what you'll be using which is negative parts. And this is what you can do to also carve out different parts. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see, what we have here is just a regular part and whenever you take a regular part and you click on it and you come over here to the top from home and you click on model, you click on negate, you see it turns it into a red part. Now this is a negative part. Now a negative part works a little bit differently than a regular part in the aspect that it removes whatever is inside of that red area will be taken out whenever you union that with any other part. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here and let me line it up with this other part that I have. Push it in. Now, what you can do is click on all of your parts that you have. If you don't want to click on them all, you can just click and hold, select it all, and then click Control Shift G. Now what this has just did is this has created a union. So now what you've done is you've taken that negative part that you have just created and you've joined it with this part that is not a negative part. So as you can see, we have carved out our own little triangle here into this seat as you can see and it is a little bit off on one side as you can see on this side it's completely flush and on this side it's not so what we can do if we want to go back is just click on this back button click off and then click on our negative part again go slightly up and then you'll see that it lines up perfectly do the same thing and you can just control shift G and this will line them up and it is still off all right so if you are having this issue what you can do is take it into the middle and i'm actually just going to copy the same part id here same position from this part and you're going to take it into this position here on this part that you moved in the middle. Control V and that will paste it in. Push enter and now you can see they're both on the same level and now you can move it back into position. And it looks like that should just be about right. So we'll go ahead and join those up. Now as you can see we have two identical paths here. Now let's say if we wanted to add some more stuff into there, like let's say if we wanted some smaller parts in there, we'll take another part here. And what we can do is negate this, move it down, move it in. Same thing, highlight it all, control shift G. Oh, now look at that. Now we have a hole inside of our wall. But you can also, you know, do anything. So let's say if you wanted to cut the chair in half. To move your part here. Grow it in scale. Negate. And if you don't want to control shift G at all, you can always come over here in the top in the model and click on union. And we'll do the same thing. So as you can see now, the chair has been cut in half. So hopefully you understand this tutorial on unions. And whenever you separate something, so if we click on this union and you click on separate, it will basically undo what you've done. So you can click on this part and undo that. Now if we wanted to even undo 
where we put this hole in, since it's not the same on the other side, we could click on separate again. And it has brought us back. And you're not re undoing it. You're actually creating a new command. So if we go back, it'll put the hole back in there. So you're actually creating a new command by doing that. So I actually don't want that piece in there. I'm going to delete that. So hopefully you understood this guide on unions and separations. I know it can be kind of confusing, but you can do it with anything. So if you wanted to create a few parts and rotate them, negate, and union, you can create all kinds of odd looking stuff. So hopefully this helped you. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.